What's going on everybody, it's your boy Big Mike, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be checking out this video on Rocket League. It is titled, Why You Feel Like Everyone in Your Rank Sucks. If you guys want to watch the original video, link is in the description down below. With that being said, let's get this video started. So, right off the bat, before we actually get this video going, I just want to point out the only game mode that I am really good at on Rocket League is duos. Um, singles, I am okay, but duos, I'm probably best at. Trios, I don't really play that much of trios. I am a diamond two in duos, and I am a gold three in solos. Now, when it comes to duos, uh, I, I normally play with, like, my friends Keegan, Nate, and Dan, um, usually play with one of them, whichever one is on, and sometimes we have our fair share, uh, fair share of, fair share, Jesus Christ, we normally have our fair share of games where we play against people who shouldn't actually be ranked as high as they are, and then sometimes it'll be, like, a Diamond 2 player brings in his teammate who is like a plat 1 or a plat 2, which really um, isn't fair uh, to that player. But we've had our fair share of games where people are terrible, but let's jump into this video and uh, let's see what my man has to say here. Why do all these people suck? If you've ever said, my teammates suck, my opponents are ball chasing idiots, or I don't understand why I'm stuck at this rank, this video is for you. Check this out. Our Diamond 2 ranked friend here on Reddit says, to start off, it's not me. These teammates are just horrible. The most majority of the time that people say that uh when they say to start off no it's not me when i have 700 points and my teammate isn't even in the triple digits isn't just me i solo queue 80 percent of the time because no one responds to Ella. i think that says lg post but the teammates are just horrible normally when people say this they don't really provide evidence as to if the teammates are actually horrible or if they're not but once again it, it just comes down to you're blaming your teammates but and then he says right here i question how these kids are even this high of a rank the other team seems to always get good teammates but the most of my teammates can do is miss the ball. It's always a 1v2 no matter what I play. That's the problem with you. If you're playing ranked, um, I do not recommend playing duos, especially if you don't have someone that you can, you know, communicate with. And it seems like in this post that he made, that's what he's doing. He's playing duos ranked without a teammate that he can communicate with. I normally play trios, and I don't play with, like, any of my friends. I'll just solo queue into, like, a match with random teammates. And 90% of the time, I get put on a team that is, like, a duos team. But, I mean... I always question why people go into duos ranked with someone they cannot communicate with. Most my teammates can do is miss the ball. I just want to rank up. Oh boy. We're just going to break this one down from a fundamental standpoint so you understand if you're watching why this guy will never rank up. And I'm going to explain to you what's holding you back more than any mechanic or any teammate possibly could. First off, victim mentality. Before you even get into ranked, he's saying, I solo queue this much of the time because no one responds to LFG posts. Okay, let me give you the number one rule of how to. The only thing I'm going to say real quick is um, stop making LFG posts and then just make friends. I mean, that's all I can really say to you, because it sounds like he doesn't have any friends that he can play with, and if he does have friends that he can play with, it seems like majority of the time, um, they are just not online when he is. You fail. Give power to other people and blame everything but yourself. Before yep. this guy even gets into rank, 
he's tilted because he thinks the world has it out to get him and he can't get teammates because no one responds to LFG posts. Clearly he's not in our Discord group, but secondly, it's never the world. If everybody in the world is responding to you the same and nothing is changing, then maybe instead of pointing your finger out at the world and saying the world is the problem, you look at the common denominator and say, huh, nobody wants to queue ranked with me. I wonder yeah. why nobody wants to queue ranked with this guy. Give that some thought. That sounds like a you problem. I'm not Homie, what did he just say? I wonder why nobody wants to queue ranked with this guy. Give that some. Dude, you're so bad. Go back to Roblox. I, homie, you queued up in a duo's ranked mode with someone you can't communicate with. That sounds like a you problem. No. Thoughts. That sounds like a you problem. I'm not exactly. trying to make fun of this guy. And we're going to anonymize his name because I think that's important. But I want this to be a learning moment for you guys. The world is not out to get you. The ranked ladder is not out to get you. And no, it's not that the other team always gets good teammates, but your teammates are always bad. Sometimes you will get shit Bruh. teammates. But on average, your rank is an accurate reflection of your skill. I know this is hard to stomach and it's been hard for me to stomach because i've been that's really how it is especially when uh, i'm gold three in solos hard stuck grand champ for as long as i can remember but i know it i know it's me i know the reason i'm not at ssl is not because i deserve ssl it's because i don't deserve ssl and if i deserved ssl i would get it point is there's always something you can improve on and even if it is your teammate's fault in one game nothing productive happens from you saying it's your teammate's fault every game. I've done that so many times where I actually hit the ball um, into our own goal. And I've done it on solo too, where I hit the ball into my own goal. I'm sorry if I'm pausing it a lot. I know it's only a nine minute video, but because I stream on Rocket League a lot, that's why I'm throwing in my two cents almost for everything that this man is talking about. And by the way, if you're not following me on Twitch, uh, my username is in the description down below. Uh, for whatever reason, um, it doesn't allow me to put my Twitch link there, so just follow my username. Game and taking that mentality everywhere you go. Because then at that point, you're the problem. Lack of self awareness when you're yep. solo queuing it's easy to spot the mistakes in others but the truth is if you're at the same rank as your teammate you're making just as many mistakes you might just not see them and that is actually really really true um especially when like uh i'll give you a prime example um my friend nate and i as soon as he got on we saw a trio's uh tournament coming up so we joined it with just the two of us. We got a random teammate. Now, it is hard to communicate with a random teammate no matter what game mode you're playing in. Um, he was just ball chasing the whole time. We would be up to hit the ball. He would just come out of nowhere. And he would either, like, jump to hit the ball. He would hit us out of the way so he could uh, get the ball. And it's really hard to communicate with a teammate no matter what game mode you're playing. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. Matter of fact, I'm blind in my left eye. On that note, if you're looking for teammates to point out your mistakes to you and be honest with you, I actually run Rocket League's number one free improvement Discord. We've got over 50,000 members. Or you could just have friends that you can play with. It's called the Grand Champ Bootcamp Free Edition. And you can go there for free looking for group channels and to find teammates to voice chat with when you queue ranked. Or if you're a serious competitive player and you're mature and you're 18 plus years old, you should also know I started a paid matchmaking service called the Grand Champ Bootcamp Unlimited, where we pair you with a professional coach that can tell you exactly what you're doing wrong and how to fix it. So whether you're looking for free options I know life on Rocket League, don't get me wrong, um, once again, uh, if you have not seen my stats, uh, the link to my Twitch is in the description, not the link, but the username, and if you end up going and following me on Twitch, I will literally show you my, um, stats on, uh, Rocket League or you're interested in our more expensive paid programs, join the Discord and DM me with the keyword suck. So what I meant to say on there is I would never pay.
for anything that oh, i know you came from this video uh, and we can talk please. details because there's something in here Unless for and as a bonus we're giving away free one week trials I just to really anybody who qualifies for this month of may meaning when this video goes live there will be just five days and back to the video not playing to your level and wait this actually reminds me of a coaching session i was doing yesterday so check out some of this footage by the way i give free coaching sessions away to the most active community members and so point is he's grand champ one champ three goes up and down what was happening was his champ teammates were being champ teammates and pushing up into the corner way too much on defense what he did was he just kept pushing up and as you can see by the clip here pushing up two players into your corner in champ is going to get you scored on and he was I actually do that a lot, and it doesn't only happen in a champ, it happens really in any game mode um, that you play. I push a corner a lot, which is something that, you know, I need to work on because 90% of the time, um, whoever I'm playing with, I don't play with randoms unless I do in trios, but normally of the time, 90% of the time, Whoever on the other team is going up for the ball, they beat me to the ball. So one of the things that I personally know that I need to start working on is uh, not ball chasing um, in the corner. He was asking me how I would play differently than him and what's holding him back and keeping him in Grand Champ 1. And here's what I told him. The main thing that I'm using, like if you just want the simplest rule, it's where's my teammate? If my teammate is in the corner already covering this, I do not also need to be in the corner. Yeah. I don't no. care if he has the ball, if he doesn't have the ball, if you know he's zero boost, if you don't know he's zero boost. If you see your teammate in the corner, you don't go in the corner with them in 2v2. You just don't do that. I'm not saying this to put Finn on the spot. I'm using this as a teaching moment because I make this mistake and we've all been there. So I want yep. you to actually take a lesson from this. The lesson is you have to play to your level. Meaning if you're a champ and your champ teammates are doing bad rotations in the corner and pushing up too far, sometimes it's going to make you awkward and it's going to ruin your rotation. But what you shouldn't do is yep. let their bad decision make you make a bad decision. Bottom line yeah. is you need to play to your level and compensate for your teammates I you need to stop ball chasing especially with uh when you're playing with your friends because that majority of the time is not going to help you and it's not going to help your teammate i know what you're thinking luke that doesn't work at my rank what do you know you've been grand champ for five years you're out of touch maybe or maybe i did multiple road to grand champs publicly on YouTube. And if you go watch them, what you'll see is this is exactly what I use to rank up to Grand Champ whenever I do one with little to no mechanics. Fixed mindset or defining yourself with a label. After coaching hundreds of players, I've heard the terms, I'm an aggressive player or I'm a game sense player more times than I'm an aggressive player. And my friends know that. I wish I have. Bro, that was a double wumble combo wumble burger fake, bro. When you label yourself, I'm a passive player, you're almost forcing yourself to play in a box. Sorry, oh, I'm sorry, don't hurt me, sorry. Meaning when you get into a ranked game and there's a decision that's 50-50, if you say you're a passive player, you're gonna go for the more passive option. And that's not right. You need to go for the option that's the correct answer or the highest percentage play. So for example, I'm not gonna lie, um, me and my friend Nate, we are both um, really competitive. Both of us will go for a ball. Him and I always have this issue of we don't communicate a lot, where it's just with uh, me and Dan. Him and I always communicate the most. And Dan and I can be competitive, but Dan is not as uh, competitive as me and Nate. He, like, he, he likes to play smart. That's just the reality of the situation. Example, if your teammate is continuously going for the ball, he's ball chasing. I'm not fucking leaving. The show goes on. And you want to go for the ball. It should be your turn. But your diamond or champ two teammate is still going for the ball. Do you just cut them off and say, it's my turn. I deserve to go for the ball. Let me, let me get it. No, you only get to go when it's your turn and when it's best for your team. And that's why you do not um queue up in duos with a teammate that you cannot communicate with the point is play style shouldn't be a permanent thing it should be liquid 
you know, be like water or whatever Bruce Lee said. Be water, my friend. Pushing blame to your teammates. It's easy to jump to conclusions, especially when I things don't go your way. I love Abe Slays and his rage compilations. Uh, look him up on YouTube and look up his rage compilations. They are absolutely hilarious. So effing horrible. Freaking about to lose my effing mind, bro. I know for me, when I get scored on, I almost instantly ask myself, what was my teammate doing there? Why would he commit for the ball? Et cetera, et cetera. But every time I catch myself saying this, I pause because taking ownership is the difference between good players and great players. So was it your teammate's fault? Maybe, but can you control them? No. So and that right there is so, was it your teammate's fault i i do not uh solo queue in duos it's always gonna be trios no matter what the game mode is it could be regular it could be rumble i don't normally play drop shot or uh ice hockey but so uh not solo uh trios and um uh i'm trying to think of it um rumble are the only two trio game modes that I play. Maybe, but can you control them? No. So control what you can control, which is obviously only yourself. You're staying too long in the play. In solo yep. queue, a confused teammate is a bad teammate. So what you might not realize is your teammate is and that is a teammate that you cannot communicate with. Actually good, you're that just confusing them. When your teammate sees very obviously that you're going for the ball in front of them, or that you're just being very clear with how you're moving around the field, it makes- That happened in the uh, trios match that Nate and I played well the trios um, tournament. Their decision-making easier and therefore better. You can't rely on your teammates to read your car language or body language or yep. whatever we want to call this <laughs> viewing mistakes as end all rules rocket league might be one of the hardest games to master and so if your teammate makes a mistake or you make a mistake it might not be that you're just i've done that so many times where nate or dan or anyone that i play with will get a perfect pass over to the front of the goal and i'll either miss the ball or I'll hit the ball too hard. All shit players. It might be that Rocket League is hard and everyone who plays Rocket League makes mistakes. If the pros yep. who have been playing Rocket League for 20,000 plus hours, if they're still making mistakes. But he scores that on his own net? Things go from bad to worse for Luminosity Gaming. This one, nutty. I've done that so many damn times. It gets absolutely annoying with how many times I, I do. promise you, your diamond lobbies are riddled with them too. Mistakes are a part of Rocket League, so the less judgmental and critical you can be on your teammates about It even had, like I said, don't solo queue in duos. I know I keep saying this a lot throughout the entirety of this video, but it's literally just common sense. Don't play with someone in duos that you cannot communicate with. About their mistakes and about yourself, the better the vibes will be with yourself and your teammates, and you're going to perform better. So to give you something actionable that you can do after you watch this video, next time you go into ranked and you make a mistake, say my bad, say sorry, say whoops, my fault. Whatever you want to do after you make a mistake, own up to it. I promise owning up to the mistake will not just help your mentality, but it will also help your teammates mentality. Own up to your mistakes and trios. Don't play duos with uh, someone you can't communicate with. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right, so we're going to end the video there. I know that I was pausing this a lot and uh, just literally talking, but once again, because of the fact that I do play Rocket League on my Twitch streams, I can actually give some input here. I'm not a Grand Champ, I'm not a Supersonic Legend, but at the same time, when you've been playing Rocket League as long as I have, or if not longer than that, you can easily get your input to this video. And everything that he talked about is correct. So once again, um, if you are not following me on Twitch, 
link will be in the description down below. Um, also, the link to this original video will be in the description down below. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.